you, baby. <laughs> All right. Dorky moment aside for a second. Yes, it's the same day as the review. But this is going to be uploaded on Thursday. The reason it's being done this way is just because I won't have my PC for I don't know how long. I have no clue of anything. Never had to do this before. So for that, I'm just kind of making these videos preemptively through my phone to try and cut ahead of any possible delays that could happen. So ultimately speaking, here's the big announcement. Something that unfortunately got me too excited. <laughs> like I started to lose my mind a little bit. I started getting like excited, excited. Like, like my typical reaction almost every five seconds was like some South Sheldon shit. Like, Oh my lord, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I didn't think my players would respond quite as much as they did either, but here we go. So, as I've been doing the Dungeons and Dragons thing, and we're honestly getting after, mind you, I'll go into the end of it as soon as I can. I do have to just tell you right now that there's a lot of stuff that got skipped over and deleted, like I said, when the 50 minutes got erased. But I'm going to just tell you this much. We are not far from going up against the first Lord. Granted, it is the weakest one of the lot, arguably. But I am quite excited to basically see how my players do. It's quite a curveball to be thrown at them because, uh, let's just put it mildly, they're not pushovers. Even the weakest one is not necessarily one you want to mess with lightly. But it is quite fun and exciting that we're going to be getting to that so soon. Now, when I said this, I didn't think my players would kind of get as in, about as into the idea as I thought they'd be. But they did. They got into it really good. Uh, basically, I kind of just rattled off on how I thought it'd be really cool to do kind of like sort of a, a an, an after story or like a, a you know, after video. Well, apparently, <clears throat> when I told them that I was kind of thinking of it, it'd be kind of cool to do something like that, maybe, you know, after a couple of lords, they said, ooh, what we could do is we can make it so it's after every single lord, and we can call it the after lore videos. I love my players. <sighs> ah. Yes, I did swoon a little. I love my players. They... <laughs> They understand that I am not a rules lawyer. I'm going to let them get away with a lot of stuff that some DMs won't. I am pretty laid back. And I especially value fun to such a very vehement extreme. <laughs> Ultimately speaking, I just... There's just no real better way to put it, really. It's just to see that my players were excited, especially after getting one of my players... So freaking excited and so crafting theories and so in her head trying to figure stuff out to the point of where she was in pacing her entire freaking environment doing laps. That felt pretty badass. Like it really did. Like to know that I've managed to intrigue my players that much to the point where not only are they pacing and heavily invested in what the story is. But so invested and having so much fun that they actually came close a few times to figuring out a good number of details on their own without me having to really say much. And I thought that was so cool. Like, my players are losing their damn minds trying to figure this all out. And I'm enjoying it. It's awesome feeling that I've managed to craft a story that they're like, yo, you know? It's really cool feeling. It's kind of giving me like the like the the the, the bleeding ray shit up in here. It makes you feel good. <laughs> I mean, a dork, I know, but I can't help it. It made me feel really good to see that my players were that excited and invested and curious and wanting to know what else is going on. And they mean they haven't even gotten to the good shit yet. They've gotten to the warm up act. They're so proud. They're proud. They do good. I do their good. <laughs> Honestly, it's a really cool feeling. Sure, there are times where I kind of wish I had a third player or something like that just to kind of round out the team. But honestly, 
I don't mind that there's only two. It actually works really well. In fact, it's working far better than I actually expected it to. Which is a cool feeling. But then to also see not only all this excitement and intrigue and wanting to know more, they also seemed heavily interested and excited about the idea of doing a sort of kind of an after, um, damn it, Smab even said what it was called, but now I'm suddenly losing it. Great. <laughs> My memory. So good. Yeah. So, so good. Honestly, it just was such a cool feeling, though, that my players were not just excited, but they were also so excited. They wanted to do kind of like a video where they go over all the lore that they've experienced so far and what they their theories are for where things are going or how things are. That was such a cool feeling. Now, it is going to be a little bit like we are getting close to dealing with the Lord, like depending on how much faffing about it they do. We might even be at that Lord in two sessions, possibly. It's not impossible for us to be at it by one session, but the odds of that aren't very high, especially since I decided to have them roll dice to determine their fate. Now, I didn't do it myself. I, I'm not a big fan of doing, you know, taking my player's fate into my own hands entirely. I kind of want them to feel like they have some degree of involvement in their fate. So I just had them reach roll a d100. Granted, I didn't expect one of them to roll a freaking 68. In this case, in this specific case, honestly, it would have been better to have rolled low, like my girl who wrote, rolled a 20 instead of a high score. <laughs> Granted, it's not the end of the world, because at least they both didn't get a 100. Dear Lord, I'm glad they didn't get that. <laughs> but it was also just kind of a cool thing. And it did kind of seem to create a little more intrigue of like, ooh, what's about to happen? What fate have we rolled for ourselves? And stuff like that, which I'm kind of excited about. Uh, that part kind of got me excited. Again, didn't expect <laughs> the, one of them to roll that high. But yeah, oh well. Ultimately, it's just I'm very excited for what's to come, especially since now I'm even more excited because of how much I saw my players become excited. And I feel like that just kind of gave me like, I already kind of was needing the boost anyways because of the whole losing 50 minutes of the recording, which pretty much like emotionally broke me for a while there. Because it's not like it was a live stream. With a live stream, you could just pick up where you left off the moment something goes wrong. In a recording... And 50 minutes later, there's no real way to regain that. So, ugh. But like I said, it was a real shot in the arm that I kind of needed to get over that. To see that my players were so excited. And especially once one of them kind of got stumbled onto one of the... I wouldn't say it's the only thing within the game, mind you. But kind of stumbled into one of the reasons why there's only Digimon and no humans about. I thought that was so cool that they're like, oh, we're. F she starts talking about it and rambling about how it's the future. And I'm like, oh shit, she's not that far off. Cool. So I basically kind of. I didn't give her a hint. I didn't expect her to literally nail it shortly after. But I just said, you know what? Thinking about the future, not far off, really. I mean, you're not quite on the right track, but if you keep running with that mindset, you're eventually going to stumble onto it. And then immediately, a couple minutes later, like, oh, this isn't just the future, it's an alternate future. And then I almost started to, I almost literally just shoved my chair out and started to just boogie. I was hyped that my player had figured it out already. And especially since I want them to figure this stuff out. I want them to kind of piece together what's going on and why things are the way they are. And I'm so glad that while they got one really neat feature of it, I was even more impressed because she started to lose her shit. <laughs> she started pacing and laughing all over the place, coming up with one theory after another, like a freaking machine gun going off. And I just felt limitless pride that I made my player that excited. <laughs> Ooh. 
Sorry, it's hard to contain the joy of it. It honestly does make me feel better knowing that I did that. That I've managed to, even though Smith has on record many times said the whole theater of the mind method of D&D has never really stuck with her and never really been her, her preference or cup of tea, she seems to appreciate the fact that in my variation of theater of the mind, I am using both simple description and extreme in-depth description kind of simultaneously in equal measures. I'm often giving mental images by referencing either movies, TV shows, places, things, stuff like that to kind of help further cement it even further stale on top of giving further, more in-depth descriptions as well. Like I'm making sure that it's kind of hard. I go out of my way to try to make it so I explain things in a way that it's almost hard not to have a mental image of what you're dealing with. Granted, I still do want to do like have an actual battle map, but the problem is that I try to make one, and I made a turd that looked like nothing, and it wasn't getting better. It was only getting worse. Ouch. Well, I am going to do a video. Uh, it's I don't know if it's going to come out Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know when it's going to come out. It's going to depend on when I get my PC back. And I have no clue how long that will take. But I hope your people who do watch this are excited for what is to come. These, these videos now that they have two players, I'm only going to get better from here. And then add in the simple fact that now not only do we have two players, but I've managed to kind of sync them in in a way that's gotten this kind of reaction is a good sign. And the fact that they both seem really in interested and compelled and wanting to do this whole, you know, after lore videos. I'm kind of excited, especially since one of the, the second player who's joined in is actually not only my girl, but my girl was also very nervous and to hear that she no longer felt nervous made me feel really happy. And now I can't shut up about how happy I feel about how it's gone so far. As silly as that probably is. <laughs> And especially with how dorky I look, spazzing out randomly. Believe me, you're not the only one to notice how dorky I am. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you managed to laugh at me, laugh with me, maybe get a little excited for not only Digimon and Dragons, but also just excited in a generalized sense for things to come. I hope. I see you next time. See ya.